first started painting these cones, I I had I had done a lot of a lot of ice cream work for uh, commercial uh, paintings and uh, for for packaging for for advertisement that kind of thing. So I liked painting. It was kind of a fun textural kind of thing to get into. And when I first started doing these, I was, I was, they, there was, they were sort of a crossover between the two. Uh, and the more I got into them, this is actually one of the few things I paint where I just start with a blank. Just, I don't even do a drawing. I just start with a blank canvas board uh, or board I work on. Uh, uh, start with uh, painting it and shifting it, and drawing it. Because in, it's all about uh, texture, it's all about some sort of feeling, appetizing feeling and a combination of colors. I'm not trying to sell the ice cream, but I'm trying to, trying to again, evoke some sort of uh, uh, feeling with, with it. And uh, they're, they're just great standalone objects that are, that are wonderful to paint. And amazingly enough, these these take me a lot of time to do because they're they're uh, uh, if you could see the history of the paint the painting in itself from start to finish there's so much uh, some of these will start start off as a waffle cone and they'll wind up with some other kind of cone they'll wind, they'll start a totally different flavor color shape soft serve whatever it is and uh, go through all kinds of, of uh, metamorphosis in terms of uh, uh, the pieces. But that's, that's, what, that's what this work, and, the, and actually all the work is about for me. It's all about the, uh, the history of the, of the paint. And uh, you know, it's about the, the intuitive quality of the paint application. And, and these, the, the cones branded out in a very very direct way, and, and then a lot of the other paintings have that because it's it's about the painting is the, the painting is not done it's not finished just because I laid some paint on it. it's it's finished when it feels like it's the right combination of texture and, and uh, thick and thin and, and uh, drawing into the paint versus brushwork versus versus some other kind of mark making. And, all, and, and that, that's what I call the history of the painting. And, and, and it, sometimes it's an underpainting that'll show through. Sometimes it'll, it's it's uh, it's about uh, it's about me making a mistake early on in the painting, and part of the painting is then gone, and then part of the painting is left, and 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 all of that lines up with a painting to me that that I mean my my basic goal. Is, with all my all my work is to have somebody stand in front of the painting and be able to see things day after day after day after day and that's I mean if somebody says I look at your painting on my wall and I see it again and every day I see something new and I never get bored with it nothing better than that <laughs> and that's that's my goal because that that means that means there's there's some kind of uh, substance to the painting it wasn't just a, a, a quick, uh, a quick, uh, uh, simple exercise in mark making. It was I was involved in the painting enough to bring out something that uh, everybody, or or certain people who who who, uh, who enjoy the painting can uh, uh, can see you know, on on, a, on an ongoing basis.